you can see the display is on uh, dashboard is as also on on you can see i'm changing the drive modes yes and uh, you can see the lights all right even i can I try to turn on the parking indicator yes it started all right if you see the engine the ignition is on now i'll try to turn off the ignition first i'll turn off the parking indicator yes it's been turned off and i'll turn off this yes economy drive mode activated take out the key fob so now you can see the power the ignition is being turned off all right see the dashboard is off you can see this display yeah this is uh, i have to open the door so it will be off yeah all right see so if you see here the ignition is off but still you can see this light is turned on even i'll try to turn on the parking indicator The parking indicator is working and even some of the info in the dashboard is also being on it is it is not off even though ignition is turned off when i'll try to give the tailgate to open yes tailgate is open please check tailgate is turned it's open and yeah so now you can see this is the difference between the KL13, so 15 and KL30. So KL30 is the one that will be always live and KL15 is the one which will on whenever the ignition is on. See now I am turning on the ignition, the KL15 also start to turn on but the KL15, KL30 is always turned on. Alright, like this light, right? even like this, this kind of the tailgate or the parking indicator and some, uh, you know, the necessary uh, stuff that is, is to be displayed in the project, in the dashboard. All right see now yeah so now i'll try to turn on again yes yeah so now the kl15 also turned on all right so this is how the kl30 the kl30 and the kl15 works so the clipping whatever you watched right so we have a uh, detailed uh, explanation has been given here so before that yes we'll just uh, have a generic explanation for the terms all right so the designation kl15 and kl30 come from the german word claim which means the terminal all right so that's what the k k means a claim so it means a terminal or a connection point the number 15 and 13 are the part of the standardized system that is it's like a you know, general the uh, harness system connection pins all right so that's what it's a 15 and 30 that's it and still we have more to go so the function is uh, obviously you would be aware uh, from from the uh, the what of the we captured in the car the clipping all right the kl15 is the terminal that is powered when the ignition system is turned on so whenever the ignition whenever we turn on the peps button or whenever you turn on the key ignition key so our KL15 terminal would on. That time only it will become live. Before yes, it would be a, it, it will not a live. It will, it will be off. But if you coming to this KL30, it is always the terminal is, it's directly connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So it will be always on, always live. All right. Yeah. Then in KL15. It provides power to various components that needs also a very important point you have to remember that need to be active when the vehicle ignition is on such as the fuel pump if it is a ice you know it's a ignition combustion engine uh, vehicle it then there will be a fuel pump ignition coils dashboard instrument is common for both uh, uh, you know ice engine ice vehicle or uh, ev or you know, plug-in electric or hybrid whatever it is and other electrical system and one more thing the this kl15 and kl30 has there is no difference between the what kind of vehicle it is maybe electric vehicle or a hybrid vehicle or a combustion vehicle yes it is uh, common for all all right the definition is common for all and the operation is the kl15 is live it has voltage live is nothing but it has a voltage when the ignition key is turned on but when the key is off the access or accessory position all right so but it is not it will be turned off whenever the key is off that is the ignition system is off and uh, moreover this will be into the uh, most of the you know um, components like um, if you see here the components see the speedometer tachometer then fuel gauge 
then uh, we have the transmission system that is the uh, wherever is required then there it, it will be is being mentioned all right the blow or motor then the power steering then the the drl that is the daytime running lights so turn signals and indicators also it will become center and as yes, wipers so these are all the uh, things are wipers then the indicators then steering so these all what are the supply goes to all these it will be um uh, kl15 that is whenever the ignition is turned on it will be on otherwise it will be off and coming to this scale 30 it's an interesting one which is always on okay which is always is directly connected to the positive of the term positive terminal so that it will be always on see it provides a constant power supply regardless of the ignition so you turned on your ignition turn off that is not a matter until unless the the battery has a power it, it gives the constant power supply this terminal is used for the components that needs continuous power such as the clock interior lights and other system so what are the other system we'll have good to go uh, KL30 is always live supplying battery voltages to connected components at all times independent of the ignition switch positions so components that is the terminal 30 is directly connected to the so again that the, the explanation is same and coming to what are the stuff it would be added is like a car alarm system that is uh, then central locking system is obviously when we turn off the ignition we do use central locking system then interior lights hazard lights then clock and ecu memory so what are the ecu memory this is say for example if there is some dashboard camera has been uh, you know turned on then it will be stored in the ecu memory uh, uh it's i mean to say it's uh, not only the it's particular ecu memory all right so the centralized computer system that one and coming to this engine control unit it retains the fault codes and all to be same and learn data what are the calibration data it will be same and power outlets like the cigarette lighters 12 volt socket everything would be turned on and trunk release that we have already seen in the in our clipping all right so this is all about the kl30 and kl15 and these scales is not only end up with the 15 and 30 still we have so many scales if you are interested to learn yes you can hit a like and you can just uh, give a comment uh, that you are interested to learn more about the kale so we'll try to uh, broadcast that with another video yes that's all about this uh, yeah we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care